Hello, the internet, and welcome to another episode of The Spit Take. My name is Jack O'Brien. I am the editor-in-chief of Cracked, and we're listening to a message to you, Rudy. Uh, the special, the 1977 cover of a classic rock steady song that I prefer to believe is being sung to Rudy Huxtable. And speaking of urgent messages, I only get to deliver in my mind that could be construed as rude. E. Today's episode is about they're afraid of that magnifying glass and the shoulders ain't strong enough to take the heat. All right? But that's how you move stuff. That's how you break down walls. That's how you tell stories that ain't been told yet. There's a reason celebrities have entire ecosystems of people around them all the time. Each of those people's next paycheck depends on the stability of a person they know to have a Jenga pile of misquoted self-help platitudes where their mind's supposed to go. I'm not that computer savvy. So I just always thought that would be embarrassing. Quentin Tarantino is bad at talking to black people. We covered this fact and even this specific appearance on BET last year in a video titled, Quentin Tarantino is bad at talking to black people. But not including it in a video about celebrity bubbles would be like leaving the Zapruder film out of a documentary about the Zapruder film. As you watch this footage, and ladies and gentlemen, it won't be easy, please keep in mind that Quentin Tarantino has spent the past 20 years talking to black actors like this. I want to I want to please my fans and I want to please the critics that are my fans. Uh, the critics hate my fans. I don't give a damn. This is the double-edged sword of celebrity. If Quentin Tarantino was a plumber, he would know not to do that. If he was literally any other director, or even if there was one other auteur filmmaker who made movies that grossed $100 million at the box office, he'd know not to do that. The day a Wes Anderson movie makes $100 million, Quentin Tarantino's doorbell's gonna ring, and it's gonna be Uma Thurman, Harvey Weinstein, and Samuel L. Jackson waiting there. And he's gonna be like, hey, Sammy Jacks, what it is up in the hood, you dig? And they're just gonna sadly begin the most overdue intervention of all time. All of that is definitely going to happen. Right off. Apparently Bruce Willis, not a fan of movies. Let's see what he has to add to this conversation about the animated movies of Japanese director Hayao Miyazaki. Spirited Away, I think, is incredible. They're very poetic, those movies. They're, they're so elegant. What about Smilla's Sense of Snow? Yes, Smilla's Sense of Snow, a 1997 live action movie in a different genre from a different country and decade than the movies we were talking about over here. Not that well reviewed or widely liked either, but you clearly think it's a self evidently impressive movie to bring up here, and I don't want to suggest you mention it because it's the only foreign movie you've ever heard of, so. Yeah, what about Smilla's Sense of Snow, Bruce? Smilla's Sense of Snow. I love that movie. Bruce, are you watching a lot of animations at the moment with your youngster? No, I don't watch that much of anything. I go to the movies once in a while. Uh, and I watch sports, mostly. Oh, cool. Dynamite drop-in, then. Way to uh, keep the ball in the air there, Bruce. Do you have Netflix? I do. I watch a lot of documentaries. Have you got a favorite, Bruce? Tons. Perhaps one with a title you can butcher so badly that I start to suspect you have a problem with Japanese people. Yeah, I just watched one called, I think it's Yoji, the guy that has a little tiny sushi restaurant in, in the tube in Japan. I think you mean Jiro. Jiro dreams of sushi, Bruce, not Yoji. Yoji's more like the dinosaur Mario rides around on. Hey, why are you wearing a bathrobe, bro? Stop your fooling around. Wolf Blitzer has spent a lot of time thinking about how to look like he's thinking serious thoughts. He experiments with different glasses, keeps his scholarly white beard trimmed to the exact same length at all times. And one time, he even pretended to write something down. Unfortunately, there were no questions about designer eyewear, pretending to write, and which beard trimmer length works best for a round gnome-like face on the episode of Celebrity Jeopardy he appeared on. What is uh, Jerusalem? No, it's Julia Child, and so we have to deduct the 800. What is a crash? Nope. People made a pretty big deal about this back when it happened because he got beat by a comedian. But watching, you realize Andy Richter would kick most people's ass in Jeopardy. And Wolf Blitzer is basically a guy who plays a college professor on a soap opera. E times three for 800, please. An accused person in court, along with his counsel. What is a defendant? Nope. What is the defense? Uh. The correct response has to have those three E's, defendant does not. He doesn't just lack knowledge in the softball categories they lined up for him. He doesn't seem to know that the categories apply to the question he's trying to answer at all. E times three for 2,000. Selected some material from a larger work. Annotated? No, what is excerpted, three E's. The name of this pasta, similar to penny, means little mustaches. Doesn't sound so tasty now. 
Wolf. What is fettuccine? No. Dude, who thinks that's what a bowl of fettuccine looks like? That's not just too stupid for Jeopardy, that's too stupid to operate the menu at an Olive Garden. I super wish this dude was famous in America because he literally can't tell time on a non-digital clock. The added step of pointing to the number it wants him to look at is a bridge too far for him. I can tell the time on a on digital, but I just can't tell it on an actual, like, like, a round one, what goes like that. I just don't understand the ticks. This is what scientists call the posh spice effect. Really good looking people aren't super common in England, so they usually end up a bit over easy in it. The reason why I love swimming is because racing. Kind of stay under the profile, under the radar. Whether it's life or there's swimming, um, always do your best. I can't wait until I'm done swimming, then I can go to the market to do a little shopping. I, I think that's my biggest key in my workout is with swimming and weights is like my weight room. At least we can point to one very basic concept or pasta other celebrities have failed to grasp. With Ryan Lochte, it's a little less defined. What defines me? Ryan Lochte. Yes, Lochte's stupidity is a little harder to sum up. Seven times four. 21. <laughs> harder to multiplication tables up. Although, maybe Lochte knows exactly what he's doing. Uh, what I was always good at was letting things go through, like, through one ear, out the other, so to say. Nope, no, he's, he's very stupid. That's... That's a shame. Okay, we all know Tom Cruise believes alien ghosts live in your body and not his, and that gives him superpowers. But anyone can learn crazy things. Tom Cruise has avoided some very basic concepts about what it means to be human, such as what a prank is, and why people do them to each other, and laughter, what, what's, what's that? <laughs> now why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Yes, that guy's a dick, and Tom Cruise is totally in the right here. But the clip is remarkable for how quickly he goes from mad to just really wanting the guy to explain the concept of a prank to him. No, no, it's okay. No, 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 wait a second. What's so funny about that? You get the sense he had always thought laughter was just a thing you did after you slapped your hands together and before you shouted, woo! <laughs> Hey, speaking of laughter, look how Tom Cruise thinks dancing is supposed to look. You ready, Tom? Hey, as they say, when on BET, do as you would normally do and don't do that, you f***ing maniac. Roll sound, roll cameras, and action. I'm not doing it, do your own videos. Do you have any idea who my father is? No, screw this, screw it. I don't want these nerds subscribing to our channel. You do it. What's, what's that? Okay. All right, you and me, we're racing. Oh. Are you okay? Oh, 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 oh my that God, are you okay? 